it's Tracy Farrell from Florida again. Have you ever tried this? It's amazing. Spinach and artichoke cream cheese. You can literally eat this by the spoonfuls with your girlfriends. And that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm making a dish with this for my fancy friends. And this is called Fancy Springtime Chicken. It is so good. You don't have to just reserve it for your girlfriends, but they'll love you if you make it for them. Let's get started. Let me show you what we need. A whole eight ounce container of this spinach artichoke cream cheese. You're gonna need a bunch of springtime fresh asparagus, a cup of sauteed and caramelized mushrooms, a quarter cup of uh, panko crumbs to go in the filling, and then we're gonna use more on the outside of the chicken. This is a cup of chopped green onions, and five strips of bacon crumbled up. Of course, we've got our chicken. I have pounded that chicken thin, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a bowl, and we're gonna start mixing this yummy filling that we're gonna roll this chicken up, and it's delicious. We're gonna take our cream cheese, and we are gonna dump that whole yummy, delicious container of this Philadelphia spinach artichoke cream cheese right into our bowl. I don't know about you, but I love to have um, my girlfriends over. And a lot of times we don't make dinners um, fancy. When we get together, we just bring something quick. But every once in a while, you like to treat your friends and kind of show off what you can do in the kitchen. And then they ask for the recipe and you say, oh, well, it just so happens I have it already printed for you. And uh, this is one of those recipes that happens. Everybody always asks for it. We love it. And I can't wait to for you to try it. In go the mushrooms right in. And I don't even chop them. I like to um, know that there's a mushroom in my dish and not just wonder what that little bit of uh, vegetable is, the panko crumbs in. That just kind of helps bind everything together. Our uh, green onions in and our bacon in. And we're gonna do something special with our asparagus. We're not gonna actually put those in the mixture. That's the fun and the fancy springtime part about this dish. Real easy. Mix that, combine that together and mix it all up. It is that simple and delicious and oh so fancy for your friends. Okay, we take our chicken that I have pounded really thin. I'm gonna put that down on our wax paper on our board and we're gonna take a nice heaping, about, that's about two tablespoons of filling. And then we're gonna take, I don't know if you know this trick about asparagus, surely you do because you've been cooking. Um, you just break those asparagus, you find out where that spot is that it breaks, and then you can just cut the rest of them or break them. I find it fun to just break them, so I'm gonna break them off right where they break. And I'm gonna put four asparagus right down the middle of this chicken. See that? Isn't that so adorable? Love it. And I'm going to roll that up together. And then I'm going to hold that chicken together just like that. You don't really need a toothpick with this because once it gets in the pan it sticks together. We're going to take that and I've beaten a couple egg whites here and I just want to get that chicken. I'm going to roll that chicken and that egg white all the way around. Kind of messy and fun. That's what makes it fancy, right? And then we're going to take these breadcrumbs, and these are panko breadcrumbs. I love these because they make everything crunchy and special and nice. And I've added um, about two teaspoons of sugar, uh, I'm sorry, uh, salt in here and pepper. I always flavor my breadcrumbs because I, I like to get them plain and then add the flavoring myself if I want to or not. So that's what's in here, just salt and pepper. We're going to take that fancy chicken and we are going to just roll it and make sure it gets good and coated and has a nice little coat on there. And my girls are going to be so impressed with this chicken. They're going to think that Paula Dean herself came over and made it for them. All right, so in to our baking dish just like that. And what I do on top of that <clears throat> is I just take about a dab of butter, a ah, teaspoon, 
however much you like and love butter and just dab that right on top of that chicken and I'm going to repeat that four times in this baking dish put it in the oven at 375 and I'm going to show you what comes out it's amazing I can't wait till my girls get here they're gonna love it okay ready to take this out I've been cooking this fancy springtime chicken at 375 for 30 minutes and in the last five minutes what I did is I turned on the broiler because those panko crumbs they stay nice and white and I like to make uh, the crumbs look a little bit more golden browned and um, and so this is it the fancy springtime chicken I'm going to take that out the girls um, love this dish like I had said before and um, I just I have some really really great friends great girlfriends and um, we're I love real good conversation real good girlfriends talking about real life stuff and uh, of course all of that wrapped up with some really good fancy springtime chicken can't beat it there's that asparagus it has cooked and we're gonna cut right into that delicious center and you can slice this up but I am so ready to take a bite of this chicken and um, I hope that you have enjoyed our time together and I hope that you will try this recipe. Oh, it's so good. It's so yummy. My husband's laughing at me again because he knows how much I want to eat it because it smells so great in house. Um, this is Tracy Farrell saying, uh, have a really awesome week. And I hope you try this dish. I really do. It's good stuff. Take care. Mmm.